Is there any justice for the children of Hiram? Is there any justice for the children of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and the children of the nation of yud heh Yahweh? The people who are in power, who are in charge, do not teach you our true history. The educational system of this country, even when you study black history, as they call it, which is another title, as opposed to you studying Hebrew history, as to who you really are, then you have other nations teaching your children that can never move them from poverty to riches. How is it in the educational system that for the last 30 years that we've gone through integration, that our children can sit with children of other nationalities and yet their children come out of college ruling over our children and your child comes out only looking for a job not knowing to be the ruler well these are points that we would like Yahweh bin Yahweh to share with you and how education and the education of our children is very important in this process of moving from poverty to riches so I invite you to relax this evening and sit back and enjoy these words from the Honorable Yahweh Ben Yahweh, how education can move you and I from poverty to riches. We teach our own. We have our own textbooks. We write the text. We print the text and we publish the text. And we teach it to our own children. Every picture in our textbook is black like us. So all of our children have a high self-esteem. Hmm? The concept of themselves is the highest. And their level of achievement is unmatched anywhere in the world. Because our children are not reading C, D, N, T, T, J, Run, Dick, Run, C, Spot. These are always white people. Mm -hmm. Big two-story house. Dick and Jane's house have beautiful shrubbery and trees. Beautiful lawn. You know how the ghetto is. There's none of these things. <laughs> and our kids are six years old, seven years old, come out of the first grade with a 27-word vocabulary. I have three, four, and five-year-olds that start off with in the beginning Yahweh created the heavens and the earth they can spell it and they can define it and they can write it they sit up and give you 104 chemical elements at four three and four and five they're doing it they can spell it they can name it they can define it they can tell you what chemical you mix with another chemical and get what products you can't do that yourself sitting here and you went all the way through school because they didn't teach us to be like that, did they? Our children count beyond your range right quick. Because we're in control. Yahweh University is a perfect learning environment. We don't have any, not one student smokes, not one student drinks alcoholic beverages or is an alcoholic, not one. Not one teen pregnancy. Your children come to our school and we don't have any of them getting pregnant. Isn't that a miracle? Not one of our students at Yahweh University is a drug addict or uses drugs or has a history of drugs in no shape, form, or fashion. There's not one single case of venereal disease, gonorrhea, or syphilis in our school. There's not one single case of AIDS in our school. What does that mean? It means we have no faggots in our school. You should come to Miami and, and just see Yahweh University and right across the street, not down the block, 50 feet away across the street is a middle school. What's going on in the middle school? Drugs, smoking, drinking, three teachers have been killed, two stabbed, one shot to death inside the school. You need police 
in the halls. You need police and, and all on the outside. When school lets out, while school is going on, it's just loud and boisterous. You can drive by and hear all this noise. Children jumping out the windows, climbing over the fences, running from the school. They come out, 80% of them come out functionally illiterate, right across the street. Is it going on in your city? How many of you don't want the Japanese, Chinese, and other aliens teaching your children? You don't? Then why do you let aliens teach them in America? The pictures in the books in America don't look like you. You didn't write the textbooks. Why do you let your children study from books that you don't write? And that you don't publish? And that you don't control? Why do you let strangers teach your children in America? And you wonder what's wrong with your kids? You wonder why you have lost your children? You wonder why you have lost this generation? And you wonder why when they come back home from school you can do nothing with them? And by the time they get 15 or 16 you can tell them absolutely nothing? You wonder why? Strangers are teaching your kids. And they teach your children to disrespect you. They can do what they want. They teach them in school. They can get pregnant, have an abortion without your permission. They can take, give them birth control pills and things and, and tell them to have free sex without your permission. Free sex means syphilis and gonorrhea and every other social disease there is. Your children have no restraint and no moral inhibition. Some of them probably are running around twisting through the streets of America today in a gay parade. raise substantive questions. We pay taxes too, but we've taken our children out of the public school where we don't have control. Place them in our own schools where we control it completely. That means we pay double for our children's education. But what's our product? I had 15 students to graduate in March, this past March. Have another set will be graduating in September. Every six months we have a graduation. Those 15 that graduated in March all marched out as, what, valedictorians, hmm? straight-A students. They gave a, they gave a five-minute dissertation to take the cap off your head. Okay. Show me where your carbon is. And, yes, your legs, your neck your face and how is carbon fed by the sun by the sun okay and how does Yahweh talk to you by your third eye and nine ether and what is nine ether your 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 hair yes let me see your sheet of paper yeah. oh that's beautiful thank you and how do you say thank you in Hebrew Toda. praise Yahweh praise Yahweh and they marched right out from there as team management running a $5 million store, first-rate foods. And that's not their final station in life. It's just a preparation. It's giving them the knowledge of how to have order in their life, how to run a business, how to manage a business. I teach that at Yahweh University.